Hi guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient update. So let's go ahead and get started. We're kicking things off by highlighting our recent release of Great Horned Owl 1023. Moving right along to our current patients, we've got Red-Tailed Hawk 1214, and this bird came to us from Taylorville, Idaho, and is actually really quite emaciated due to a couple fractures that are going on in his shoulder. Um, he's really getting better though. Um, when he came in, he was very weak and very unstable, and we've seen him turn around and um, start perching and looking stronger every single day. So he's gaining weight, while he's hanging out in the ICU and his shoulder heals, and um, we're hoping he's gonna make a full recovery. Next up is Sharp Shin Hawk 1214 from Ammon, Idaho, and unfortunately this bird was grabbed outside from a pet outdoor cat. Um, just so you guys know, outdoor cats kill around 1.3 to 4 billion birds every year, and that's just in the U.S. Um, so one thing that we can really do to help these guys is to keep cats indoors or use bird safe collars or have them supervised while outside so um, that the bird populations can continue to thrive. Um, this guy is dealing with some puncture wounds and for those of you that may not know, cat saliva is toxic to birds. So he's currently on an antibiotic um, twice a day and he's still in the ICU but is recovering well so far. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 1129, and this bird came in from Lander, Wyoming, and is dealing with some trauma to his left shoulder, as well as some lead toxicity. He underwent one round of chelation therapy to help rid the body of those heavy metals, and so far his lead level has stayed down um, at a safer level, so he doesn't need another round of chelation. Um, his shoulder is still body wrapped to his body, so we've got a wrap on. You can see his right wing is able to be extended but with that body wrap while his left shoulder is healing we don't want him to be able to open his left wing so think of this as wearing a sling um, so this is essentially like a bird sling but it just wraps the wing around their body so that the other wing is free to move around um, during this phase of treatment he is not in the ICU he doesn't need to be um, but he still shouldn't be flying around and so we've got him using some ground perches so he's able to access and move around this space but just has to stay on the ground. Last but not least this week is Merlin 11-8 and this is the bird that came in with a left ulna fracture after a gunshot wound. Um, as a reminder it is not legal to shoot raptors however this guy is making a great recovery so far. We took new x-rays that revealed that the ulna is healing up beautifully and we were actually able to take off his wrap. And so now he is about to move into the PCU and out of the ICU and he can start using that wing slowly again. He's undergoing physical therapy about two to three times a week. And he's also getting cold laser therapy and that's really helping him with his range of motion. All right, that's all we've got for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed learning more about our birds. Remember that if you wanna do your part to help keep wild birds wild, you can check out our website at tetonraptorcenter.org and make a donation. You can also click the link in the description below and that'll take you right to our donate site. Happy holidays and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye.